Hello, this is Jeff Patel, Flitter Mouse. When I made the Mercury Sponge video, it was primarily to address about 10 people who had asked that question to me. The video ended up going semi-viral and generated a lot of questions that I thought I had really covered by showing a sponge that would absorb water but not absorb mercury. Even though I have years of watching Red Dwarf, The Black Adder, and The Young Ones, I overestimated the sense of humor of the British people. I jokingly said that five pounds equals one stone, and apparently everyone thought I was completely serious about that. Yes, we do have Google in the United States. So here we are with the mercury again, five pounds, or what was that, 2.2 kilograms, or quarter stone, or something like that. But it's not uh, like silver water or some kind of uh, silver paint or anything like it's real mercury, so no bakery going on here. I went to the dollar store looking for a natural sea sponge, but for some reason they didn't have any there, so I just got some cellulose sponge and I found this old bath sponge too. But you'll see why I had to use that black polyurethane foam that I originally used in the first video. Because these sponges have such big cavities or voids or um, holes or pores, or whatever you want to call them, the mercury, when I pulled it out, would pool up on these external surfaces in tiny little droplets and give the appearance that the mercury is being absorbed when it really wasn't. It was just sticking to the outside surface. The mercury would fall and spill out and it just was a really bad pre presentation. People sometimes ask about how I remove that uh, scum that's on the top of mercury. The scum is, is technically called dross, D-R-O-S-S, and um, I found that this sponge actually worked pretty well to kind of skim that off the top. And then I would, I would take that sponge and just put it in the bottle of mercury um, for future use. You know, I'm not just going to throw it in the trash can or anything. But it seemed to work pretty well to get that mercury nice and shiny again. So that's why I had to use this black polyurethane sponge. Because of the, the very smooth surface, the mercury wouldn't stick in small droplets on the external areas of it. And it uh, had a good contrast to that. Uh, you know, the mercury showed up really well against it. Anyway, I hope uh, I didn't offend too many British people this time. And I thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please ask, and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs>